Hello, I'm Alex T. Smith. I'm the author and the illustrator of the Claude series and the Mr. Penguin series. And I'm here for Book Week Scotland to take part in their Scots Illustrating Challenge to help with their quest to find their favorite Scots word. So I've got my thinking hat on. I've got a bucket full of words, so let's go. Okay, so our first word is blether, which means a chat, a conversation, or a catch up. There's his nose. And he can be listening, so his ears got to be up. Down here, and then we'll draw, he can be on the phone. There we are, Claude having a blather. Okay, so the word is clarty, which means covered in muck or dirty. I'm gonna draw Claude's best friend. If you don't know, Claude's best friend is a very particular type of person because he's not actually a person at all. He is a sock called Sir Bobbly Sock. And actually, probably his least favorite thing would be to be clarty. So there we go, there's Sir Bobbly Sock, clarty, covered in muck. This one is a good one, it's called shufty. Have a quick peek. I think that word will be just perfect for my other character that I write about, a detective or an adventurer who is also a penguin. And he's not very good at being an adventurer or a detective, he's not very brave, so he's always a bit tentative to get involved. So he would probably have a shufty, he'd have a quick peek. So, there's Mr. Penguin having a shufty, a quick peek. Ooh, crab it. Grumpy, that's a good word. Mr. Penguin has a best friend as well, who is actually often a bit crabbit. He's a bit grumpy, because he's a spider and he looks like this. And we'll put him on a strand of web, and then all importantly, he has his eight legs. One, two, three, four on that side. One, two, three, four on that side and he uses those legs to do kung fu because Colin is crabbit, he's grumpy, but he's also a kung fu master. So there we go, crabbit, grumpy. Okay, the word is numpty, meaning a fool or a daft person. We're going to start off with some ears that stick out a bit like this. That's me. And the reason I've done that is because I have three cheeky nephews who call me Uncle Numpty. Can you think of a Numpty that you could draw? I bet you can. Wow, what incredible words. I think Scots might be my new favourite language. I hope you enjoyed those illustrations of those Scots words, and I hope it might encourage you to draw some of your own favourite words. And don't forget to check out my Claude books and my Mr Penguin books, and make sure you have a fantastic Book Week Scotland. Bye.